Welcome, 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 guys. I'm Gary Ferron. This is the F Gaming Channel. Um, sorry, I was out for a while. Um, I was sick. I uh, wasn't able to bring you guys up to date information. Um, but now I'm back, and I'm better than ever. Uh, let's start with PS5. Mark Cerny, the lead developer in the PS5, came out with a report from Wired.com. And this report confirmed a couple things we now know about PS5. Um, one thing we don't know is the launch date. So it's definitely not 2019. PS5 will not be releasing in 2019. But the number one thing is a solid state drive. Yes, the PS5 is now equipped and come built in with a solid state drive, um, SSD. For some of you guys that don't know what an SSD is, it's just a min miniaturized um, hard drive, but it's able to read and write data so quickly, it's phenomenal. So uh, they demoed Spider-Man. Spider-Man took 15 seconds to fast travel on a PS4 Pro. On the latest next gen PS5, 0.8 seconds. That's phenomenal. It's stated that um, this solid state drive will be more up to date than any PC that's in the industry as of right now. That's remarkable. Um, loading screens, thing of the past. I'm not saying any names, <coughs> Anthem. <coughs> But this is remarkable. And that's why that's the number one thing I need to share with you guys. Number two, PS5 will have backwards compatibility to all PS4 games. So the games you're playing now, you will be able to play those on PS5. That's amazing news to hear. Number three, PlayStation 5 will have support for 8K resolution. 8K. Yeah, you're hearing me correctly. There's a lot of homes right now that did not upgrade to a 4K. So that's a value that I think that's going to last for a very long time. That's amazing value. Uh, a version of future proofing. So when an 8K does drop eventually, and it will, because there's a lot of manufacturers right now is working on 8K televisions and there's some already out um but when that do finally drop we will have support for it uh it's not said whether it's native or is upscaling it's most likely going to be upscaling but to have support for that is amazing without wasting any time let's jump to number four and the fourth thing is the CPU. We now know what CPU the PlayStation 5 is going to come equipped with. And it's an 8 core AMD CPU using 7 nanometers of Zen 2 micro architecture. And if you don't know what that is, I don't either. Um, but basically, it is a very, very up to date CPU. Now, which brings us to the fifth. Thing we need to know the graphics well the graphics is part of the Radeon Navi family and with this uh, GPU it's also accompanied by something they call ray tracing um, if you guys don't know what ray tracing is google it <laughs> uh, but uh, to break it down ray tracing is advanced lighting basically is realistic lighting and even with um, the newer beefed up PCs, they are having problems running it, like the new RTXs and things like that, um, is not able to run it sufficiently. So to have this on a PlayStation 5 is outstanding. There's nothing more else to say. It, so moving on to the number six thing that's confirmed by Sony, PSVR. I know you're like, so? <laughs> PSVR will be supported. I know a lot of people really don't care because a lot of people don't have it or want it. 
Um, but if you're currently own a PSVR, your current gen PSVR will be supported by PlayStation 5. And that's confirmed by Sony. So we have one, two, seven, seven. The number seven thing Sony confirmed is that the PS5 will have a physical drive. You know, the, the thing that the CD goes into and then you press a button. Yes, Sony will have a physical drive. So unlike Microsoft, that's leaning more towards the digital world. You know, everything digital with the new Xbox One X digital. Um, they're staying with the physical drive. And I know that has probably something to do with um, it being backwards compatibility to PS4. So it'll accept those discs. So that's fantastic news. So all you guys with the, you know, the modem connection, you know, the one that plugs into the back of the modem and it, it dials a phone number and you get your two um, megabytes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're safe. It has a physical drive, so you won't have to depend on download speeds. Numero ocho. Uh, that's number eight. Um, eight is pricing. So, and I want to read this. Sony did not confirm or make a statement on pricing. Uh, they only said that what you're going to get will be very well worth it. So I'm predicting with all this hardware, they're definitely going to take a loss. So there was a rumor on Pacebin, and it said the PlayStation 5 gonna run you about $599. And that's not confirmed from Sony. That is purely speculation. But I think you're gonna lean towards the 500 price range. That's saying because of the launch of PlayStation 3. When PlayStation 3 launched, it was overpriced and it failed. It failed miserably because it was overpriced when it launched. Um, I think they're going to take a loss and they're going to launch it at $500, uh, $499. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. My name is Gary Ferron. This is F Gaming. If you're excited for the PS5 launch, hit that like button. On the next video, Microsoft said they have a more overpowered console than the PS5. So if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to make sure you're notified the moment one of my videos go live. Thank you.